All right, guys, so if you guys have watched my video on the full breakdown on the February 14th update, you guys will know that the big ugly that I've talked about inside of the video, it's going to be the level cap increase from level 70 to 75. We don't exactly know why they have actually decided to include this into this patch after around seven months since the last increase from level 60 to 70, as well as from the promotion to ascension. But there is a possibility that the new master mode, as well as the difficulty of episode 16 dark mode, is going to be a lot harder than episode 15. And that's the reason why they have decided to increase the level cap from 70 to 75. We don't exactly know if that is the truth or not, but it is going to be happening, guys. And in this video, I want to quickly talk about some of the ways for you guys to not panic as much. All right. And maybe possibly even take this as an opportunity to become ahead of some people who are not going to be watching this video by preparing beforehand. All right. So if you guys know right now, there's a ton of different cookies, probably over around 70 cookies that are going to be used inside of the game right now that are going to be very useful. However, not every single one of them are going to be your top priority. And as on top of that, they do all have different classes as well. So right now, the first thing that comes into mind is going to be the EXP star jellies because it is going to be the thing that is going to allow your cookie to go from level 70 to 75. However, if you guys know, as of right now, from the beginning of the game till now, they have done a lot, in my personal opinion, to allow players to gain a lot more exp star jellies and to farm them more efficiently than before because of the fact that they have added the sugar gnome lavatory allowing the faster production of cookie houses on top of that we do have the statue right now allowing you to also gain some extra buffs on the production speed of cookie houses as well as the new prosperity system right now allowing you to even get further ahead in the production speed of cookie houses and on top of that, all the different events and, you know, ways, methods for you guys to get EXP Star Jellies, it might not be the most difficult thing for you guys right now. It might not be the thing that you guys might be panicking right now. And on top of that, you are able to take the advantage of Hall of Ancient Heroes. But the one thing, all right, the one thing that you guys may really, really be worrying about is going to be this, guys. And that is going to be the skill powder in order to level up all of these cookies and the amount of coins that is going to be required to actually level up those skills so yes there's a lot of different cookies but all of them are going to be categorized by different class and each class are going to be using different skill powders so right now according to my calculation as well as uh double checking with some others there's a lot more magic cookies as well as charge and supports that are going to be greatly used inside of the game which means that you're going to need a lot more of those specific powders in order to take advantage of their full capacity inside of your different game modes so if you guys look at cherry cookie right now who has been increased to level 70 with level one skill you're going to be able to see that you're going to need a ton of skill powders in order to get from level one to 70 and specifically it's going to be 100 of these regular powders 110 of these refined powders and on top of that the most is going to be 660 of these pristine skill powders and it's actually going to require you to take a total of 300 from level 60 to 70 and if it's going to cost exactly the same amount uh, then it should cost around 30 per level which means that you're going to need an additional 150 on top of this making it a total of 810 pristine powder to get from level 1 to 75 so definitely you're gonna need a ton of these powders it does not seem like a lot when you guys go from level 70 to 75 which is only going to be at 150 however for some players that is going to be definitely a lot and the maximum amount of skill powders you normally could get per day is going to be a total of 30 of these pristine powders if you guys do not refresh so it's going to be really and really important for you guys to understand where you guys get this skill powders and in my next video, I'm going to be talking about exactly who you guys should be prioritizing in order to not fall behind in specific game modes, because that is going to be another whole video that I would like to share with you guys. So to close out this video, let's talk about exactly where you guys can get all of these uh, powders, as well as some of the ways you guys are able to take advantage of some golds uh, or the coins in order for you guys to not fall behind. And first of all, of course, it is going to be from the daily bounty here, guys. You're going to be able to get a total of, once again, 30 per day if you guys do not have the Kingdom Pass. 
And if you guys do have the Kingdom Pass, then it is going to be a total of 60 per day without the refresh. And that is going to be for the specific class. And of course, once you guys reach that Sunday, it is actually going to be a little bit different because you're going to be able to get a powder for every single class from that one run. But however, keep in mind that the refresh for Sunday is going to be a total of 1000 crystals, which I don't recommend. However, for every single day, if you guys do decide to refresh for a specific class, it's going to cost a total of 300 of these crystals and you'll be able to maximize a total of additional 90 powders with the cost of 900 crystals, maxing out at 120 powders per day if you guys do decide to do this but i definitely recommend you guys to stay away from refreshing if possible because it is going to cost you guys 900 crystals per day which can be a lot compared to the crystals you guys might be getting right now but on top of the daily bounty which is going to be your regular way of getting or your daily way of getting skill powders you're gonna have a lot of different ways in order to purchase or even gain some skill powders right now and one of them is going to be from the kingdom arena so if you guys go to the metal shop you guys are going to be able to see that you're able to purchase a total of six of these powders here by using a total of 300 of these metals right now farming the metals is not hard but it is also not that easy either guys and definitely you're gonna need to go and get specific powders right now i'm lucky to have two slots of actual magic uh which is going to be very important because blueberry pie is going to be a magic cookie so it is going to be a good way for us to purchase this if you guys do have the opportunity to do so so you guys can see that the kingdom arena is going to be a way for you guys to purchase and on top of that if you guys do get pretty high within the tower of sweet chaos you're going to be able to see some skill powder uh, you know boxes that you're going to be able to have which is going to be the chest where you can specifically choose a skill powder for a class that you would like to have and it is definitely going to be worth now to go and choose those chest before you guys go further into the tower of sweet chaos in order to take advantage of those extra powders and on top of that if you guys do do some cookie alliance here guys uh for example i'm just going to show you guys a quick uh, run here but if you guys do decide to do a run inside of the cookie alliance you're going to be able to see some random uh, skill powders being popping up here uh, like these right here. And you'll be able to take advantage of some of these. And especially because of the fact that the Cookie Alliance is a lot easier right now. It may be a time where you guys want to go and farm this as much as possible with the cookies that you guys have. And on top of that, if you guys go to the Kcom Frenzy right now within the shop, you're going to be able to see that you guys can buy these pristine skill powder of choice chests that you guys are able to uh, obtain. Uh, there's a total of five of these that you guys can buy. I definitely recommend you guys to go and buy these as soon as possible. Now, it is not going to be something that is uh, going to be a good thing, but it is going to be absolutely a recommended one on top of the uh, cookie cutters now because of the amount of skill powders you guys are going to need. So make sure to go and do that uh, and take advantage of it, guys. And on top of that, if you guys do go to the seaside market, then you guys are able to sometimes go and purchase or even trade in. Uh, some of the uh, materials in order to get the pristine skill powders is it going to be recommended to use all of your materials no but if you guys do have some spare materials then it is going to be an option as well and on top of that you guys are able to see that it can also be purchased within the rainbow shell gallery but uh, i do recommend you guys to prioritize the guild relics as well as the legendary uh, soul stone soul core if that is going to be your choice and on top of that of course uh, there are going to be some events and stuff like that that is constantly going to come up in order to give you guys some extra skill powders uh there are some from the two years of kingdom uh as well as some other you know events and stuff like that that are going to have these skill powders of course it's not going to be a lot but it is going to be recommended for you guys to take advantage of it if possible one thing i do not recommend is going to the uh, magic laboratory here guys in order to craft uh, the skill powders because of the fact that it is going to cost you guys two hours as well as some materials and it is going to be random for only two powders so this is not going to be very efficient so don't take advantage of this so those are all of the different ways for you guys to go and farm up the skill powders one last thing that i want to talk about uh, for you guys to take advantage of some extra gold is make sure to go and take advantage of this burning time events guys in the tree of wishes in order to fill in those lacking coins right now especially with the next level cap increase in order for you guys to not 
be broke, all right? So make sure to go and take advantage of this if possible. But to quickly wrap up the video, guys, uh, you're going to need a ton of skill powders as well as coins in order to level up your cookies from level 70 to 75 and to level up their skills from level 70 to 75. But I do want to let you guys know that it can be possible if you guys do start early and you'll be able to be ahead of others if you guys do take advantage of these right away rather than waiting until the actual update happens i will be going over specific cookies that i recommend you guys to level up from 70 to 75 first in order for you guys to prioritize them for specific game modes but let's push through this together guys and i'll do my best to help you guys and guide you guys as much as possible thanks for watching guys i hope you guys found the video helpful and i'll see you guys all on the next one